Hey guys, Pete here. Today I'm going to talk about the idea of season four of Twin Peaks. I'm sure most of you have seen the news that David Lynch didn't rule it out, continuing the series. So we're going to look at what, what he actually said and what it actually might mean. And then we'll look at some of the stuff Kyle MacLachlan said and Laura Dern said as well. Before I dive into it, I want to ask you to stick around until the end. I am having a book giveaway, and I am starting a new rewatch for the first season of Twin Peaks, so I want to tell you all about that after I finish the main video. All right, so recently David Lynch talked for the first time about Twin Peaks after season three finished. He was in Serbia doing a photo exhibition called Small Stories, and he did a participation with some of the people in the audience over Skype and answered some questions. Not unsurprisingly, some people wanted to ask him about Twin Peaks, and when he was asked about the fate of Audrey, he said something that pretty much applies to the entire series. He said, what matters is what you believe happened. And then he went on to say, that's the whole thing. There are lots of things in life, and we wonder about them, and we have to come to our own conclusions. You can, for example, read a book that raises a series of questions, and you want to talk to the author, but he died a hundred years ago. That's why everything is up to you. So to put that in our own words, I mean, it's just, that's what it's there for, is for us to think about, and he's not going to give any clear answers. When he was asked about the fourth season, and that's pretty much why I'm making this video, he said it's too early to say. He didn't rule it out, and that's the important thing. But he said that if, you know, people wanted that, they'd have to be extremely patient. And to say what he said was it took him four and a half years to write and film this season. Now, what does that actually mean then? Well, we know that Showtime has already said that they would do it again, that the door is open to David Lynch, and this was before the season f wrapped up, but I don't think that anything that happened since then has diminished their interest, and I don't think they would have said that just to say that. They don't really have to say anything if they didn't want to. It wasn't a large commercial success for them, but it seems pretty clear that that wasn't what they were shooting for. It gave them something that they could call their own that was really in a league of its own. I mean, this will be remembered for a very long time. And that's something that they've always lacked, I would say, even though they have some fairly good shows on their network. Certainly got them a lot of attention. It certainly gives them something to show that they've done that's significant. And yeah, I think they would do it again. Would they do 18 episodes in one run rather than two shorter seasons? You know, that stuff's all for speculation. We really don't know. But I think it's a good thing that he didn't say something to the effect of, well, we haven't thought about that, or, you know, it's really not something that might fit in our schedule or anything else. He said that it would take a long time, and even though it's too early to say right now, he didn't really deflect. He gave an answer, so that's good. Kyle MacLachlan, on the other hand, before the series started, he actually had said that he thought there could be more than these 18 episodes after they filmed. And he said that he didn't know whether David and Mark felt compelled to write more. You know, he didn't know. He couldn't put himself inside their head. But he says that he thinks that he has more stories, meaning David Lynch. After the season ended, when asked, he said he would love to do it again. He says he misses the series already. They filmed this a while ago, and then it took all that time to put together, and nobody knew actually what was going to happen. So from what Kyle McLaughlin says in, in the interview, he really enjoyed watching the show every week to see how it all turned out. He also loves the character, and he said basically he would do it, and he would be happy to do it for the rest of his life. When asked about, you know, what does the actual ending of it mean, he said he didn't know at all. He said it's a question, like the what year is this, is a question that just keeps asking more questions. It leaves us to go back, dig through, watch and absorb, and take in what we've just seen again. And, you know, he basically said he's still processing it himself. He knew he filmed it. He filmed it a long time ago. But he had no idea how it was actually going to come out in the context of everything. And after seeing the finale, he said, I'm still reeling. Reeling, I think, is the word about what it all means. 
So he's definitely on board to do it. And his character is obviously pretty key. And Laura Dern pretty much said the same thing. When asked about whether she would do a season four, she said, I'll never say no to David and I'll never say no to Diane because now I've fallen in love with her. So it'd be impossible for me not to want to be part of any journey he wants to take. But I think that's what's so beautiful about his work is that every time it ends, even if there is an ending, you're just devastated at the thought of saying goodbye. So whether he wants to dive back into this world of Twin Peaks or go somewhere completely different, it'll be something like we've never seen. So I thought that was a pretty good thing. And, you know, I can definitely relate to the idea of not wanting to say goodbye. And I'm sure most of you guys can, too. And it does sort of beg the question, before the season, Kyle MacLachlan sounded pretty sure that David Lynch had more stories. After seeing it, we're all kind of equally in the same boat of having an idea of what we think happened, but knowing pretty certainly that we don't know what David Lynch and Mark Frost put together as what happened. So one thing I haven't found anywhere is anybody asking Mark Frost if he would be interested in working with it. I think he is a key component to this whole thing. So not that it would be bad, obviously, if David Lynch did it by himself, but I think that if it's going to be called Twin Peaks and it's going to be about Twin Peaks, it would be good to have Mark Frost involved with it. We do know that his book's coming out in a little over a month that's going to hopefully give us some more fuel for the mystery fire, I guess you could say. So yeah, I, I haven't found anybody asking him if he wants to be involved, but I think that that should be a yes on his part. I mean, he threw himself into this with the books that went along with it, and I don't know what would have happened in season three that would make it so that he didn't want to be involved. As far as the story goes, I mean, guessing about that would be as silly as trying to guess what was going to happen in the next episode of season three. I mean, really, they could go anywhere. We have a little time travel now, a la Philip Jeffries, and we have a little bit of alternate dimensions or something along that line. So they certainly could pick up with Agent Cooper. And I think what people would most likely be scared of is that a lot of the actors have passed and we may not get a lot more of the town of Twin Peaks. But I would say that I think that that will always be important. Because, especially with the secret history and what I assume the final dossier is going to be about, the town of Twin Peaks and the supernatural the supernatural occurrences there, the, the significance of that location for that energy is always going to be a part of this story. Obviously, the Blue Rose Task Force is going to be comprised of Gordon and Tammy and Agent Cooper if he comes back. So, you know what I mean? I think it's always going to be tied to the work that Major Briggs did and the things that actually happen in that part of the world. Does it mean that all the characters would play a part? I don't know. You know what I mean? I don't know that that's really the next step is to go back again. But I don't think we have to worry about it being completely devoid of anything in the town of Twin Peaks. I think it will always have that sort of tether. And I don't think we'll see anything more that's like a reboot of season one or season two. Laura could still be involved. I think that obviously the Lodges will still be involved. But how their role would be is kind of confusing and it's kind of exciting to think about, really. So hopefully we will hear something that they're going to put it into development. I think we should know by now that even if there is a season four or multiple seasons going forward, that there will never really be that kind of closure that we expected, as foolish as we were to expect it in the first place. So it could be just about anything, which is pretty exciting when you think about it. I do think that the 18-hour format may be a little bit hard to sell, but that's just me thinking. Like, I don't have any reason. I mean, I enjoyed 18 episodes, but the time in between is so long, especially if they don't want to give up any of the creative reins, you know what I mean? Like, they kind of got into a situation that they weren't happy with working on Deadline on season two. So you can't really see them bringing in a bunch of directors and writers, but at the same time, it takes a really long time. You know, you had four and a half years for 18 episodes last time, 
obviously that's not a workable timeline to just come out every five years. Not yet anyways. I mean, it, it was 25 years in between the last one, but I don't think that's optimal by anybody's thinking. So that is basically where we're at. I think it's safe to say that most actors would be that are still alive would be interested in reprising it. I think it could open the door to some really interesting stuff. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. I told you I was having a giveaway for Mark Frost's upcoming book, The Final Dossier. Everyone who supports my Patreon and who is active on the day it comes out, October 31st. Actually, I'll pick on the 1st because that's whenever Patreon does its thing. So I will pick someone on that day who is active out of a giant virtual hat and I will send that person a copy of the book directly to their home. I'm also getting ready to start up my Twin Peaks. I've actually watched and took notes, so I haven't made the video yet, for the Season 1 rewatch. And I might do some live streams in relation to that. I'm looking into it right now, so I'll keep you up. I'll tell, definitely tell the Patreon patrons about that real soon, because we'll probably do a trial with some of those guys to see if I can get everything to work correctly. So please like this video if you liked it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and my other social media accounts, Instagram and Facebook. Definitely check out my Patreon. I really want to keep doing stuff like Season 1. And, you know, I explained it all there. It's just hard because it doesn't get a lot of views because it's not current. So let's see what we can get into in the Twin Peaks universe. Thanks for watching, guys. I will talk to you soon.